don't wait just go for it you know markets go are up markets go down but uh i think there's a lot of opportunity in real estate now and just go for it fire, 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 fire. All right, Caesar. So I'm super excited to be talking with you. You are a real estate mogul in these streets. Can you tell us a little bit about what got you started? Well, I've been doing real estate now for about 12 years. Uh, my first experience with real estate was, we used to rent a property when I, I lived with my parents and they sold that property. And the landlord showed us after, 12, after 10 years living there, that we pretty much paid his property off by the rentals that we're paying every month. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the first thing that sparked real estate in my mind. Yeah, that's and great. so for you, it, did it just seem like it was something comfortable for you to get into or what really you know pushed you to say, I need to do this? Well, uh, I used to do mortgages. The market, okay. the market collapsed back in 07, 08. Uh, I opened up a restaurant, me and my wife. Oh yeah, I know about this restaurant. Yeah, restaurant. <laughs> and. Um, it went horrible. We yeah. pretty much lost everything. Uh, everybody was running away from real estate. I saw an opportunity. I took it. I could say uh, I made 70 grand and we closed the restaurant the next day. Wow. I've been doing real estate ever since now, 12 years. So how do you take yourself out of a situation and, and just give yourself that leap of faith that some people want to do in life, but they just don't know how? I just went for it. And, you know, I just wanted to you know, provide a better way for my family to live and you know, to be able to do things not just be working all the time. When we were in the restaurant, me and my wife were working six days a week, nonstop. It, yeah. wouldn't, it, it wouldn't stop, so I couldn't even really spend that much time with my daughter. And it's kind of everything that's because of my daughter. Mm -hmm. Now, would you say being a real estate investor has allowed you to just live the life that you want and create the lifestyle that you like? Oh yes, definitely. How so? Hands down. I can do whatever I want. You know, my schedule is whatever I want. I make of it. I go on vacation, you know, my wife wants something, we could afford it. My daughter wants something. There's never, you know, I, I'm at the point where everything, whatever I want, I could afford, which is a blessing. That's and a I, beautiful way to be. <laughs> yeah, and I was able to uh, bought, I bought my, my parents a house. Oh. My wife bought her parents a house. So, you know, it has, you know, it's pretty much been taking care of my whole family. Yeah. Now, from a local standpoint, um, there are a lot of people that live in local communities and they're interested in doing something like this, but they don't know where to go, where to start. Why is it so important for people to invest in their own communities? Because eventually, you know, other, you know, people come in and then it's not our communities anymore. And it, it happens around the whole country. You know, it, it's one of those things that, um, especially when you're from urban areas, you know, where they're we're like, oh my God, you know, it's the hood, whatever. The hood's not gonna be the hood forever. And if we don't invest in our community, somebody else is gonna come and then we're upset because we didn't take the opportunity. You know, it's like, for example, like my, my I'm originally from New York City. My dad been here since the 60s. He never bought anything. You know, we could have owned a couple buildings back in New York if he would have took the opportunity back then and he never did. Now nobody could afford New York prices, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's one of those things, like if you don't take advantage of it today, somebody else will tomorrow. And, and for those people that are upset, because we see gentrification happening all the time yeah. in all areas, yeah. and some people really, you know, they really get upset, they really get mad. What would you say uh, to those people? What, would, what word of advice would you give to them? They gotta move on, you know? You had your opportunity, they didn't take it, now somebody else took the opportunity, and now they're, you know, they're going, taking the opportunity all the way to the bank. Mm -hmm. But now, people that are in these areas now, that think the worst of the areas they're growing up with, they're not going to be like that forever. So you need to take that opportunity now before somebody else does later down, later on. So they need to learn from their mistake yep. and then invest in the next um, yep. rental opportunity or area that yep. may not be doing so well. Yeah, that's all it is. Like, you know, when you look as far, you know, like back home, I'm mm -hmm. in Jersey, you look at New York, you look at Harlem. Harlem, they used to give away these townhouses for $100. Nobody took the opportunity. Bill Clinton moved after he retired from being uh, the president to Harlem to one. I think it was one twenty fifth where he put his office at. The whole Harlem changed. Now these beautiful brownstones are worth eight ten million dollars. Wow. Gentrification. Wow. <laughs> now I want to ask about international properties. How fluent are you with investing internationally? I 
I've never really bought anything out, out of the country. Okay. I have family members that have in France, but I've never really got into it. And okay. Even though I know it's a huge market for it now, especially with, you know, Airbnb and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but I never got into it. Now, is that something you can see yourself getting into and expanding? I'm kind of scared about it because, you know, it's kind of like every country has different laws. So it's one of those things, you know, you kind of yeah, kind of have to have boots on the ground mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yeah, and you have to understand the laws in yeah. all these countries. And if you don't, yeah, it could and be a problem. I have a little bit of interest okay. to invest in is probably the Bahamas. Oh, I like the Bahamas. Yes. Okay, and why Bahamas? Because it's so close to Miami? It's, so, it's close to Miami, and I know they're very uh, investor friendly. There. Okay. You know, I know they have like pretty cool things like that. There's no property tax, mm -hmm. which is pretty awesome. Uh, they have a lot of incentives for foreigners. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, is there anything, Caesar, that I didn't ask that you just think the people should know about real estate yourself or anything? Uh, don't wait. Just go for it. You know, markets go are up, markets go down, but uh, I think there's a lot of opportunity in real estate now, and just go for it. That's it. Just go for it. Just do yeah. it. All right, there we have it. Thanks, Caesar. <laughs> Thank you so much.